everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about some easy ways you can always look chic or put together or polished, whatever your goal is. These are some of the tips that can help you look your best every single day with very little effort. So let's get started. First up is to stick to no more than three colors in your outfit. Now, of course, this is a very general rule, but in my experience, three colors is a really good sweet spot. It ensures that you have some variety in your outfit, so it's not all drab and not a little too lifeless, but it also prevents it from going a little too overboard, so you don't feel overpowered by your clothing. And by sticking to this, you look very thoughtful. It looks like you know exactly what you're doing. So to make it really simple, I like to pair two neutrals with one accent color. The neutrals ensure that I have a really firm base to my outfit, and the accent color gives me a little personality. So because of my personal style, my personal preference, my base colors tend to be black, white, gray, camel, or navy, and then my accent colors are maroon or a burgundy color, and then typically a little bit of a green sometimes, and then a lighter blue. And all of that plays very nicely together. And when I stick to the rule of threes when it comes to color, I can mix and match endlessly and never feel overwhelmed and always look chic. Next is to not ignore accessories. We spend a lot of time cultivating our closets and really focusing on basics that we can wear, t-shirts and button downs and great pair of jeans. But when it comes down to it, the things that really make an outfit and the things that transform your personal style and really set you apart are accessories. So things like scarves, great earrings, a watch, rings, your favorite barrette or hair accessory, maybe a hat. They're all at our disposal and they're things that really can be the missing piece to a great outfit. So I know that when I get dressed and I put on my basics and I'm feeling okay about my outfit, I really feel fantastic about my outfit the second I add an accessory. So I have quite a few in my wardrobe and I recommend building that for yourself and really trying to pinpoint what those are for you, whether that's a hair piece or hat or maybe a great scarf or two, and then just have fun with them. Really use them to enhance your personal style. Next is to wear at least two textures in every outfit. This is especially helpful if you really love to wear the same color all from head to toe and monochromatic outfits are really your thing, then I think you'll really love this one. By just changing up the texture of one piece, you add visual interest and your outfit goes from a little bit monotonous to really great. And I really love to do this with textures like chunky knits and denim and uh, leather and faux leather and faux fur. And just things that add that pop to your outfit are wonderful. Even something as simple as wearing a basic sweater like I am today and then adding a different texture in a hair accessory or a silk scarf. That juxtaposition really makes your outfit look great. And I love using that. So anytime I'm stuck on what to wear, I will pick the same color in my top and my bottom and then change up the texture in at least one of them and it never fails. This next one is probably my favorite tip from this entire video, and that is to plan your outfits. Now, when I started doing this for my personal style, it completely transformed things. I not only felt better about the clothes that I had, but I was able to put together really great outfits in a pinch. So I definitely recommend spending the time to go on Pinterest and search for some of your favorite wardrobe pieces. Maybe it's a white shirt, a great pair of jeans, and then save a bunch of those images and then play around with them with your own closet and snap pictures of anything that's really fantastic. Save it in a folder on your phone. And when you go to get dressed and you're feeling stuck, go back to those pictures and you will have at your disposal such an amazing selection of outfits. It is so beneficial. I cannot tell you the improvement that it had and I definitely encourage you to do the same. In my experience, shoes really have the ability to transform an outfit. 
So I have a couple outfit formulas that I rely on, things like a t-shirt and jeans. And just by changing out my shoes, I change the whole vibe of that outfit. So my tip is to swap casual shoes for a more dressy shoe or something a little bit more polished. So instead of a sneaker, maybe something that you wear all the time and something that's maybe nearing the end of its life, it's looking a little tattered, swap that for a polished loafer or a really great ballet flat or a slingback, something that's got a really delicate heel, but it's just enough to really take your outfit to the next level. Sometimes it's all you need to transform how you're looking at your wardrobe. And it's one of my favorite tips. It's something I'm trying to get better at doing myself because every time I do it, I'm so happy with the results. Keeping your outfits proportioned and balanced to you and your personal frame is so important to making sure that you look chic every day. And it's something that you have a lot of control over. So my recommendation is twofold. The first is to play around with your proportions. Maybe instead of pairing your, your same slim blazer with slim pants, maybe swap the slim pants for a looser fitting trouser, something with a higher waist, and really trick the eye that way and have fun experimenting with those. And then the second part is to never forget that a tailor is always at your disposal and tailors, or if you sew on your own, have the ability to really transform things and play with proportions on a piece you already have in your closet. So just by maybe adding shoulder pads or taking the sleeves up or bringing the waist in slightly on something, maybe rising the hem or letting out the hem are really helpful ways to trick the eye and play with how things look in your closet. So you can take your same basic sweater that you love, but pairing it with pants that have a longer length and maybe a higher rise can really transform how you look at that piece. Next is to iron and steam your clothing. Now, I know that this is incredibly boring, and unless you really like ironing, this is going to be the le least enjoyable part of getting dressed, I think. But it is a very important part of making sure that your outfit looks great and that you look chic every day. But as soon as you take the time to ensure that there aren't any heavy creasing or wrinkles in your outfits, it really just hangs nicer on your body. I think it makes a big difference, and I always feel better when I've taken the time to do that for myself. It's a nice little personal care routine that I've added into getting dressed. Now, along those same lines, I encourage you not to get bogged down by this. And don't let it become overwhelming. Don't feel like you can't wear certain fabrics because they do crease. And certainly don't feel like you can't sit down and live life for fear of wrinkles. Definitely embrace all that life gives you, but definitely take the time when you first get dressed to ensure that everything just looks the best that it possibly can. When all is said and done, the difference between an outfit that you love and an outfit that you're like, eh, so-so about is down to the styling. You can be wearing the exact same thing as someone else and it will look completely different just on how you've styled it on your own personal body with your own personal tastes. So my recommendation is to never neglect styling. Things like rolling the sleeves or maybe popping your collar, tucking things in or belting things, wearing things really loose and oversized. These are all things that we have in our control and they're all things that make your outfits look very thoughtful. They're things that translate directly into your personal style. And when people look at you, they see all of those thoughtful touches. They might not register every single one together, but they'll see the whole picture and read, wow, she really understands what works for her, what she loves and what makes her feel great. And I think that makes you radiate. And when you do that, I think people just want to be near you. They admire your style and all those wonderful things that we look for. So I definitely recommend spending time playing around with styling and finding a couple things that you can rely on to really take your outfit to the next level. And there you have it. Those are some easy ways to look chic every single day. I hope that you like this and it inspired you and maybe gave you some things you can do the next time you get dressed. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.